Hello, Oyen. How are you? Yeah, where are you? It's been long time. Where have you been? <laughs> where did you go? I go. I go the. I went the bathroom. I went. I went where? I went at home. Oh, at home only. Okay. Teacher Anne is looking for you. Oh my God. Okay. I miss you, Uyen. Oh, because New Year. How was your New Year? New Year? Yeah. How is it? Oh. New Year, Christmas. How is your Christmas? Mm, is twenty fifth of December. Yeah. What did you do? I I what? You eat something? Food like that? What did you eat? I play with my friends. Wow, you play with your friends. Oh my God. Okay, so now we will have the listening task for mover eye starters, okay? Okay. 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 Okay, okay. that's 7.1 starter listening test. In the Philippines, it's hot. Philippines, it's hot? No, it's raining here. Rain? In the Philippines, it's raining. How about in Vietnam? What's the weather? It is cool and raining. Ah, oh, the same here. It's very cold and it's raining outside. Okay, let's wait for a while. For a while, Uyan. Okay. I will share again now. Okay. Here. Okay, so hello again, Uyen. Good good afternoon. Okay. Okay, so now teacher Anne will show you something here. Okay, so this is listening test. You have to listen carefully, okay? You listen carefully and teacher Anne will tell you the test okay listen part one look at part one now look at the picture listen and look there is one example can you put the kite on the sofa pardon the kite. Put it on the sofa. Right. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Put the spider next to the clock. Put it where? Put the spider next to the clock. Okay.
two. Now the helicopter. Put it between the dog's ears. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yes. The helicopter between the dog's ears looks very funny. Three. And put the monster under the window. The monster? Yes. There. I'm putting it under the window. Four. Can you put the lorry on the mat? It's a nice big lorry. Yes, it is. Right. It's on the mat. Five. Now put the lamp in the box. Sorry? Put what in the box? The lamp. OK. Now listen to part one again. One. Put the spider next to the clock. Put it where? Put the spider next to the clock. OK. Two. Now the helicopter. Put it between the dog's ears. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yes. The helicopter between the dog's ears looks very funny. Three. And put the monster under the window. The monster? Yes. There. I'm putting it under the window. Four. Can you put the lorry on the mat? It's a nice big lorry. Yes, it is. Right. It's on the mat. Five. Now put the lamp in the box. Sorry? Put what in the box? The lamp. OK. That is the end of part one. OK, oh yeah. Now tell me where you were going to put the spider. The spider and next to the clock. Okay, it's next to the clock. Where is it? Very good. Okay, next, where are you going to put the helicopter? The helicopter and between the dog ear. The ear. The dog ears. The dog ears. Okay, let's see. Ta where is it? <laughs> Where is the dog ears? Oh my god! Oh, it's so amazing. Next, how about the monster? Where are we going to put the monster? The monster is under the window. It's under the window. Oh my god, here. Next, where are we going to put the lorry? The lorry? Yes, we're going to put the lorry. The lorry and on the mat it's on the mat how about the lamp where are we going to put the lamp in the lamp and in the box in the box oh lamp okay very good so you have perfect score five over five i will write here five over five so Every test, every lesson, Huyan, I will get your scores and I will send it in Zalo. Okay? Okay? Okay, very good. Okay. Next one here. Next is this one. You listen carefully. We have here. Here. The name of the girl is Kim. Okay. The girl's name Kim. So you will have to listen and write a name or a number. You will have to listen to me, okay? The girl's okay. name is Kim. Okay. Part two. Look at the picture. Listen and write a name or a number. 
There are two examples. Who's this? It's a photo of my friend. Her name's Kim. Is that K I M? Yes. Has Kim got brothers and sisters? She's got one brother. One? Yes. Can you see the answers? Now you listen and write a name or a number. One. What's Kim's brother's name? Alex. A L E X. Is he a nice brother? I don't know. Two. How old is he? He's fourteen. Fourteen? Yes, he is. Three. And what's Kim's family name? It's Brown. How do you spell that? Is it B R? O W N. Yes, that's right. Four. And does Kim go to your school? Yes, we go to Fruit Street School. I don't know that school. What street? Fruit. F R. U, I, T. Five. And where does Kim live? She lives in the flat next to me, number eighteen. Which flat? Number eighteen. We walk to school with our moms. Now listen to part two again. Okay. Okay. Again. Oh, yeah. And one more. One. What's Kim's brother's name? Alex. A. L. E. X. Is he a nice brother? I don't know. Two. How old is he? He's fourteen. Fourteen? Yes, he is. Three. And what's Kim's family name? It's Brown. How do you spell that? Is it B R O W N? Yes, that's right. Four. And does Kim go to your school? Yes, we go to Fruit Street School. I don't know that school. What street? Fruit. F R U I T. Five. And where does Kim live? She lives in the flat next to me, number eighteen. Which flat? Number eighteen. We walk to school with our moms. That is the end of part two. Okay, Oyan. Now tell me. Okay. Okay. Now tell me what is Kim's brother name? His name Alice. It's. Alex. Okay, can you spell the word Alex? A L A S. Okay, very good. How old is Kim's brother? How old is Kim's brother? Hmm, forty. 
14. Four zero. 14. 14. One, one, four. Okay, very good. What's Kim's family name? Brown. Oh, you spell the word brown. B R O W N. Very good. Okay, number four. What's the name of Kim's school? Foot. It is? Foot. Okay. Can you spell the word foot, the name of the school? F R O F T. Okay, it's fruit. Again, fruit. Fruit. Very good. What number is Kim's flat? Seventeen. Seventeen? Eighteen. Eighteen. One, eight is correct? Eighteen. Oh, very good. Okay, you've got five points. Okay, I will write here five over five again. So total score ten. Okay, next Huyen. Now Huyen, you will have to listen and check the back. Okay, you tell me what is the correct. Part three. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. What's mum cleaning? What's mum doing? She's cleaning in the bathroom. The bath or the window? She's cleaning the new mirror. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What are Anna's favourite animals in the zoo? Look at the elephants, Anna. Oh yes. Are they your favourite animals? They're okay, Anna. But I love hippos. My favourites are the crocodiles. They're very ugly. Two. What's in Bill's lunchbox? What have you got in your lunchbox today, Bill? I don't know. Let's see. I've got an apple and a banana. Oh no, I've got a carrot. I don't like them. Okay. Okay. So you have here the example. What's mom cleaning? Mom is cleaning the what? The mirror. Very good. She's cleaning the mirror. Okay. Number one question. What are Anna's favorite animals in the zoo? Is it the hippo? Anna's favorite animal in the zoo is elephant. Elephant or the crocodile? What do you think? Elephant. Elephant. Let's see. Oh, it's the crocodile. She likes the crocodile, although the crocodile is ugly. Okay, number two. What's in Bill's lunch box? What's in Bill's lunch box? His lamb carrot. It's a carrot. carrot. It's a carrot. Okay. Letter. The answer is letter. See, very good. Okay, let's continue. Three, four, and five. Three. Which sport does Tony play at school? Which sport do you play at school, Tony? Tennis? No, we don't have a teacher for that. We play soccer. Oh, that's good. And badminton? No. I can't play that. Four. Where's Grandpa? It's time for lunch. 
Where's Grandpa? He's sleeping. Where? In bed or in the armchair? He isn't in the house. He's in the garden. Five. What would Nick like to do? What a nice beach! Let's go in the sea, Nick. I don't like swimming. Oh, would you like to find shells then? No, let's play in the sand. Okay. Okay. What do you think, number three? Which sport does Tony play at school? He play soccer. Soccer. Okay, let's see. Very good. Here it's letter A. How about number four, Oyen? Where is Grandpa? It's in the bed, it's in the sofa, or it's in the garden? Is in the garden. Oh, Grandpa is? What is Grandpa doing in the garden? Sleeping. Sleeping, teacher, and very good. Four points now. Five, what would Nick like to do? In the beach, catching a fish as seashells. B, swimming. Or C, building a sand castle. Building a sand castle. Okay, let's see if your answer is letter C. Correct. Very good. You've got five points again. I will write here. Oyen. Total score Oyen is five. Total score is 15. Perfect. Very good. Great job, Oyen. Next one here. Now, Oyen, you will have. Okay, sorry. You will have to tell teacher Anne what are the colors of or what or what do you think we are going to color or we will put color to the following or in the picture listen part four look at the picture listen and look there is one example look at the frog family in the park yes it's a beautiful day. Find the frog in the tree. Right. Color his face red. Okay. The frog in the trees got a red face. Can you see the frog with a red face? This is an example. Now you listen and color. One. Can you see the boat? Yes. One frog in the boat is fishing. Oh, yes. He's got three fish. Color his face purple. Purple. Right. Okay. Two. Two. Listen. I like the frog with the hat. Where? He's pointing to the bird. Oh, yes. Can I color his face yellow? Yes. Color his face yellow. Three. There's a frog with a flower. Sorry? There's a frog with a flower. Oh, yes. Color her face orange. Orange? Okay. Four. One frog is putting her hand in the water. Oh, yes. She's in the boat, too. She's very happy. Can I color her face pink? Yes. Pink is a good color for a face. Five. 
Five. Find the frog with an ice cream. I like ice cream. Me too. Color her face brown. A brown face? That's good. Yes. I love this picture now. Now listen to part four again. One. Can you see the boat? Yes. One frog in the boat is fishing. Oh, yes. He's got three fish. Color his face purple. Purple. Right. Two. I like the frog with the hat. Where? He's pointing to the bird. Oh, yes. Can I color his face yellow? Yes. Color his face <coughs> yellow. <coughs> Three. There's a frog with a flower. Sorry? There's a frog with a flower. Oh, yes. Color her face orange. Orange? Okay. Four. One frog is putting her hand in the water. Oh, yes. She's in the boat, too. She's very happy. Can I color her face pink? Yes. Pink is a good color for a face. Five. Find the frog with an ice cream. I like ice cream. Me too. Color her face brown. A brown face? That's good. Yes. I love this picture now. That is the end of the starters practice listening test one. Okay. The oh yeah. So we have here what are the things or how, what are the colors for the pictures? First, can you tell me? Mm, no. Can you the tell purple. me the color? Yes. Orange. Okay, what we call or what what are the things that we need to color orange? First color the fact the frog fisting in the boat purple. Purple. Okay, very good. You color the face of the frog frog. Fishing in the boat is purple. Next, number two. What's the color of the face? Okay, can you read this one? Color? Color the face of the frog with the hat pointing to the perk. What's Yellow. Called? Yellow, teacher. How about next? What's the color of the... Here, next. Color the face of Frog with the flower, orange. Orange. And next, what's this? Four. Color the face of the frost in the boat with her hand, the water, pink. Pink. Okay. Next, number five. Color the face of the frog with Oh, ice cream brown okay brown okay here let us see here okay this is orange next one where is the brown the pink and the brown okay first is color the face of the frog fishing the boat purple oh this one look at that one color the face of the frog with the hat where is the frog with ah okay 
yellow pointing the bird oh and color the face of the frog with a flower orange okay this one orange color the face of the frog in the boat it's color pink pink color the face of the frog with ice cream it's color brown, brown. okay very good oh yes yeah. now let's hear we have to do another topic okay let's move to the next we still have time okay so let's have here you listen carefully this is part one again you listen carefully about this one part one look at part one five points for now look at the picture listen and look there is one example put the jacket on the tiger put the jacket where on the tiger right can you see the line this is an example now you listen and draw lines one can you see the crocodile? Yes, I can. Put the skirt on the crocodile. The skirt? Okay. Two. Now put the sock under the clock. Sorry? What can I put under the clock? The sock. Oh, yes. Right. Three. Now find the hippo. Okay. Put the hat in his hand. Right. The hat is in the hippo's hand. Four. Now, can you put the shirt next to the radio? Pardon? Where do I put the shirt? Next to the radio. Okay, I'm doing it now. Five. And now put the handbag between the frog and the snake. Pardon? The handbag? Yes, put it between the frog and the snake. Okay. Now listen to part one again. One. Can you see the crocodile? Yes, I can. Put the skirt on the crocodile. The skirt? Okay. Two. Now put the sock under the clock. Sorry? What can I put under the clock? The sock. Oh, yes. Right. Three. Now find the hippo. Okay. Put the hat in his hand. Right. The hat is in the hippo's hand. Four. Now, can you put the shirt next to the radio? Pardon? Where do I put the shirt? Next to the radio. Okay, I'm doing it now. Five. And now, put the handbag between the frog and the snake. Pardon? The handbag? Yes. Put it between the frog and the snake. Okay. Okay. That is the end of part one.
Okay, now tell me, Oyan, what are the things or these things here? Where are we going to put it first? Tell me. The scars in on the crocodile. Okay, the skirt is on crocodile. Oh my god. Next one. Okay. The shirt is under the clock. Okay, it's under the clock. Okay, next. The sock is under the clock. Clock, clock. clock. You know what is clock? Yes. Right? Yes, teacher. Next, number three. The hat and in the people hand. Okay, the hat is in the people's hand. Okay, next. The skirt, the shirt, and next to the radio. Okay, the skirt next to the radio. Okay, number five. The handbag is next to the snack and frog. Okay, the handbag is next, is between the frog and the snake. Let's see here. Tang. Oh, the crocodile is wearing a skirt. Next. Oh, my God. Next. Oh, the clock is wearing a sock. Next. Oh, the hippo is holding the hat. And next. Oh, my God. The, what's this? The yes. shirt is uh. next to the radio is here. And the handbag, where is the handbag? It's between the frog and the snake. Oh, it's here. Very good, Oyan. Five. Five. Over five. Okay, next. Okay, next. That's. There are two examples for this. Okay, listen. You have to tell me about this one. This is the last activity. You have to listen carefully, okay? Part 2. Look at the picture. Listen and write a name or a number. There are two examples. Hello. What's your name? Alex. Is that A L E X. Yes, it is. How old are you, Alex? I'm nine. Nine? That's right. Can you see the answers? Now you listen and write a name or a number. One. Is that your friend? Yes. Her name's Kim. How do you spell that? K I M. Kim. Two. Where does she live? In Sun Street. Is that Sir. S U N? Yes. That's a good name. Hello, Uyen? I cannot listen. You cannot listen? Why? Wait yes. for a while. Wait for a while. How about this? Can you listen? Where does she live? Can you listen? In Sun okay. Street. Okay. Is that S U N? Yes. That's a good name. Three. Three. What number is her house? Fifteen. 
She lives at number 15. Yes, she does. Four. How old is she? She's ten now. Is she? Ten? Yes. It's her birthday today. Five. Does she like animals? Yes, she does. She's got a dog. What's its name? Happy. Is that H A P P Y? Yes, it is. Now listen to part two again. One. Is that your friend? Yes. Her name's Kin. How do you spell that? K-I-M. Two. Where does she live? In Sun Street. Is that S-U-N? Yes. That's a good name. Three. What number is her house? Fifteen. She lives at number fifteen? Yes, she does. Four. How old is she? She's ten now. Is she? Ten? Yes. It's her birthday today. Five. Does she like animals? Yes, she does. She's got a dog. What's its name? Happy. Is that H A P P Y? Yes, it is. That is the end of part two. Okay, now Uyan, look up here. So we are going to know the boy's name is Alex. How old is Alex? Alex is? nine years old now you tell me the information here about alex friend now what's the name of alex friend her, na her name is kim kim can you spell the word kim a e m okay it's kim where does kim live thanks <laughs> In the Sands. Sand Street. Spell the word sun. S U N. Very good. Sun Street. What's the number of her house? Number? Fourteen or fifteen? Okay, fifteen. How old is she? Ten years old. Ten years old. Very good. What's the name of her dog? It's a happy. Happy. Okay. So you've got four points of this. I will total your scores. Very good. So four. The total points 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. We will have a total scores of 20, 30 points. And Huyen got 29. Okay. 
again, total score is 33-0 and you got 29-29. Very good. Yay. Okay. So, Huyen, do you have question now? You have question to teacher? Yes. Okay, what is your question? Tell, ask me. You want to ask? Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So for now, teacher Anne will say goodbye, Uyen. See you on when? See you on Saturday. Saturday. Okay. I'll be seeing you on Saturday. Okay. For now, teacher will say goodbye. Bye bye, Uyen. Bye. Love, love, sign. Love, love. Oh, very good. Bye bye. Bye.